My name is Frank Cipollino. I own a company called Thingergy. We build a lot of stuff for film and TV and the entertainment industry, tons of like trade show displays. And I've had this little personal project to rebuild this Robocop cabinet for I don't know, probably two years and I've been hemming and hawing about getting back into it and building it. My buddy Nolan and I read drew out all the plans for this thing based on reference that we had. And then I was able to use all the different CNC tools that I have at the shop, specifically the Shaper Origin, to kind of cut out parts to put this thing back together. So a couple of years ago, my buddy Steve found a Robocop cabinet on the side of the road with a little sticker on it that said, free, it works. Apparently this thing had been out in the weather for who knows how long, and the cabinet was all like falling apart. So what we did is we took it apart and kind of re-blueprinted the whole thing and looked online and kind of looked for all the resources on how people have built these. Redesigned this whole thing in Fusion and then started using all of our CNC toys to remake all these parts. And making a lot of these things and tweaking some of these parts, you know, using the Shaper Origin was super helpful. And there was even one part where we had already cut the huge door panel and I just wanted to make a little inset for these switches. And so all I did was just lay some tape on there and then draw the little squares and then I was able to insert all of these switches so that everything's kind of flush mounted. For stuff like that, super easy. Like to just be able to drop a little inset like wherever I want on a part that's already cut. Like it's such a pain in the butt to set up a jig to do that any other traditional way. And it just makes it such a nicer finish on the inside. Most of the stuff that we end up designing ends up being designed in Fusion 360. It's just, it's kind of a good catch-all so that way it can feed out to all of our machines. Whether it's the, the Tormach or the CNC router parts table or whatever it is, like everything, it's all in the same software. I don't have to redraw the parts somewhere else. And then using the little shape or exporter, it's like, it's kind of dummy proof. And then you just, you know, USB it right in and it's, it's there. And everything fits together and everything works together. I mean, that's, having everything working harmoniously just makes the workflow that much easier. Yeah, this, this piece specifically is the mount that's inside here that holds up this bent piece of metal that holds all the controls. It's just right under there. It's just a little part that keeps it all put together. Like it, it doesn't open up all the way because there's actually a latch I gotta put in the back to keep it shut. But yeah, this, this piece of metal was the original. So that's kind of one of the things I had to work around was you know, what this curve was. And then the size of the monitor, originally this had a CRT. And so we put in a LCD monitor. So we had to remake the mount to kind of fit that together. This is the board from the original thing. Obviously we haven't done very much with cable management yet, but this is the original Robocop board. Those are a lot of the components from the original power supply. And then there's a breakout board over here, which runs the LCD monitor instead of the CRT. We do installations, whether it's our big statue that went into the Fox's corporate office, or we, you know, at some of the theme parks that we do installations, or building this next round of statues for E3. You gotta go there and you gotta make a change on the fly. It's like, it's better to have this tool sitting in the truck that I can make that change than to just be there and be stuck and have to like dremel it out or something, you know? Like, I, I mean, I don't wanna have to get out there with a hammer and try and break something off. It's easier to just make it nice. That's really where this thing shines for us. Well, I, I happen to have all the tool. Like, you know, it's, it's not, there's no tool in here that's the end all be all tool. Every, every tool that's in our toolbox has a different use. So having another one of these things in our quiver, like it just helps us tackle jobs faster and more efficiently. And you know, it's just another tool in the toolbox.